The latest data is showing more than half of Utahns own a dog or a cat. It also shows one in four of those pets will die from cancer. Because November is National Pet Cancer Awareness Month, we're taking a look at the latest advancements and treatments for our four-legged friends. ABC4's Jordan Burroughs talking to pet oncologists for this special report, Positive Healing. Inside a veterinary clinic can be scary. But for people needing help for their pets, it's one of their last options. It's not uncommon at all. One in four dogs and one in five cats will get cancer throughout their lifetime. What's supposed to be a lifetime of happiness and unconditional love could come to an end unexpectedly. I think it's just hearing the cancer word. I think that makes most owners scared and sad. Cancer invokes an emptiness, a dread synonymous with death. Yet it's so hard to explain. Oh, we were very sad when we found out. She means everything to us. When Edie was first diagnosed with lung cancer, I thought, uh oh, this is it. It's becoming more common in pets. Advanced veterinary care is open 24 7 to handle the worst. One of the reasons we think some of these pets get these cancers is because they're living in the same environment that we're living in. So they're exposed to the same cancer causing agents. There are cancer causing agents almost everywhere we go. Whether we're inside or outside, we are breathing this in. And according to Dr. Kathleen Simpas from Advanced Veterinary Care, so are our dogs. She says treat your dog's body like it's your own. Just hearing the cancer word is very worrying to pets. It's our job to explain the disease process to owners and put them at ease and let them know that there usually are really great options for them. Most pet owners take advantage of these options to try to save their pet or extend its life. Take every day as much as you can and spend as much time as you can with them. Andy Guevara is Trouble's owner. She says her eight-year-old cat is battling feline leukemia and is taking chemotherapy pills to treat it. Not good for him. All of his organs will eventually shut down and he won't be able to keep going. So we're getting him on some chemo to try and stop that and keep him as happy and unaffected as we can. Trouble lives up to his name. Guevara says he's always getting into things and chewing on anything he can get his paws on. But at the end of the day, she says she'll do what she can to extend his life. I mean, they're your family, so you love them and you know that things aren't going great. It's hard. There's lots of tears and it comes and gets you at the worst of times. Owner Melissa Lapani is used to the worst of times. She has had to go on the cancer journey with three different dogs. This time, it's with her bulldog mix. This is Miss Janky Pickles. Miss Janky Pickles, six years old and deaf. We, we just clap like this. Good girl. Lapani says her previous <laughs> owners weren't so kind, and she and her husband rescued her. She was so shut down when we first got her and really in poor health. And so the last three years have been an exercise in helping her feel safe and loved and comfortable and healthy. Miss Janky Pickles is undergoing immunotherapy, one of the several options available for a pet's fight with cancer. We've got some treatments we can give to a pet that is very, very unwell potentially not walking, not eating, appearing almost at death's door. We've got some treatments that we can give and within 24 hours, these pets are up running around. Dr. Simbis says the clinic's goal is to give the pet the best quality of life, something ABC4's Craig Worth can understand. That's what's important. Her quality of life has not suffered. Of course, we all know what the end could be, but at this point, we're doing well. Worth's 14-year former medical research dog, Edie, has been in treatment for five months. Edie is battling lung cancer, and while her days are numbered, the treatment helps give her as much time as she can with Worth. You know, everybody that has a dog is going to say, this is my best friend. I can tell you that uh, Edie fits that category. More than 12 million pets a year will be diagnosed with cancer, and a majority of them won't be cured. A majority of them, however, will be given the best life they can thanks to the advancements in pet oncology. More treatments, more options, more time with your best friend. Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.